Hi, and welcome to the Electronics and Programming Beginner's Guide. Uh, if you've been uh, watching my channel, you may recognize this guy. This is the uh, one of my uh, previous projects I did a video on. This was video 19. Uh, this is the uh, ChargeMinder uh, version 1. And today we're going to take a look at ChargeMinder uh, version 2. This is the uh, upgraded version or maybe bug fixed version if you want to uh, uh, call it that. But first, uh, let's take a closer look and walk our way through all of the little mistakes that I made with this guy because engineering is a learning process and you know you always want to learn something from your uh, mistakes. The first huge mistake that you can see is this giant red bodge wire. And that wire is there because uh, the library file I used for this PCB type uh, USB connector had the power and ground reversed. Oops, I actually ended up uh, burning up a couple of these chips before I figured that out because what would happen is I couldn't talk to it and when I touched this micro it would get super hot, which I think I actually burned myself once. I think the reason for that is there is a clamping diode inside across the power and ground and when you apply power in reverse that clamping diode would you know, effectively uh, you know become a dead short and that micro would get super hot and something was getting damaged inside uh, because afterwards it stopped working. So what I did was is, uh, I cut the trays here. You can sort of see the cut mark and this separated it from ground. And then I put in a little jumper wire to bring it over here. This is the uh, power rail. And then over here, I cut it, the trays here and jumpered it kind of over this way. This is the uh, ground pour. The next and uh, somewhat less obvious uh, change I did, well, the maybe not change, but thing I didn't like was that the this PCB mount style USB connector, I could not get really good contacts out of it. So if you can tell, I had to build it up with solder to be able to get any kind of good contact out of that when plugging it into a USB port. And even then it was very wobbly in there. It didn't stay in very well. And so on, as you'll see on the new board, I have an actual USB connector that's installed. The final mistake I had to fix was the crystal back here. And uh, going back through my schematic after I ordered the board, I noticed that I still had an air wire that hadn't been connected. And that's really where the uh, zoom unrouted routines came from because after I made this mistake that I wanted to make sure that I never made that mistake again. And looking around online, I found the uh, zoom unrouted routine for Eagle to, to make sure that it, it would show me if I had any unrouted traces. And this was an important trace because it provided power to the crystal. Uh, something I ended up changing uh, as well is that I left off the enable pin off of this crystal. And so there's actually a little uh, solder jumper installed in here kind of soldered off onto the side, it's really difficult to see, that uh, enables the crystal. And so uh, version one gave birth to version two here. As I mentioned previously, I replaced the uh, board mount USB connector with a nice metal uh, USB connector. And this was a welcome upgrade because this fits in really nice and snug into the uh, charger and doesn't wiggle around. Uh, the board got smaller because of that and uh, slightly cheaper. Uh, the board was just a little more difficult to route because of the smaller size, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't terrible. Uh, same button used, same switch used, all of that was the same. The, uh, well, I gotta think of it, the, the traces for the crystal got fixed and I made sure that those were all Hunky Dory, and you can see that this is uh, Rev2. Uh, I will post the uh, design files for this on my website. And
Um, <clears throat> and uh, the software for this uh, stayed the same. There weren't uh, any uh, software changes between uh, version two and version one. Version two is just a cleanup of, of all the uh, previous mistakes. As always, if you have any questions or comments, you're welcome to put them uh, down below. And if you like the video, don't forget to give me a, a thumbs up uh, or subscribe or both. Uh, and thank you for watching.